don't think you're gonna believe me when I tell you I'm going on another weekend trip. <laughs> All right, yeah, so don't mind this. I just filmed a podcast episode. Uh, go watch it if it's out. If it's not, I am sorry. I've been so behind on what I feel like is everything in my life, and I don't know how to fix it. Humidifier also spilled earlier, so if you see my bare feet, no, you did it. If you're watching this, let me know what your favorite song off of the Tortured Poets Department is in the comments down below because I need to know. My favorite is uh, definitely The Prophecy, even though that one makes me cry. Uh, so I have my list here and I guess I'm just going to get started. I need to figure out what my fits are going to be. <clears throat> the reason we're going is because I have a sorority alumni thing that I'm I'm so excited to go to. It's going to be so fun, but I, uh, the dress wear is black and I, <laughs> the only black dresses I own now are like little cocktail dresses that I wear when I go out. So yeah, I was in Alpha Z Delta. So that's my quill. Cause our saying is the pen is mightier than the sword. So, yeah. A little keepsake box. Where's a pen? I feel like I'm always losing my pens. Did you take them? And then these right here are gifts for one of my close friends. It's their birthday in like a week and a half. They have a very, they have like an early May birthday, but. They live far away, and I'm not going to see them, but I'm going to see them this weekend. So birthday present time for them. Ten pairs of... Ten pairs of underwear in case I uncontrollably shit myself. We all know the feeling. Yes, yes. Perfect. <laughs> okay, and then we got socks and bras. Oh, I need tights, too. So all the intimate things first. I know you're just here. To know what crochet projects I'm bringing but I'm like so glad that you're here for the start of the video it really like means the world to me <laughs> I don't know why packing has been giving me so much anxiety recently it never used to I used to be like so excited to pack and like yes and no if that makes sense it's like yeah I'm still excited to pack I think because I'm still obviously excited for the trip but I kind of just wish that I could just like snap my fingers and be like, okay, done. And then always bring a swimsuit. We're going to be staying in hotels. And the way I yearn for a hot tub is absolutely feral. Absolutely feral. I just got this one from Target. She's a little ruched, green, one piece. I'm trying to do like the easy stuff first. So that one, because... The hardest part is planning outfits, in my opinion. Like, I just, like, never know what I want to wear. And it truly just, like, gives me so much anxiety trying to figure out, like, what I'm going to wear when I'm, like, on trips. Okay, I think I figured out what I'm going to do for the ceremony. So I have this black tank top, which I know kind of looks a little sus. But I'm going to wear this over it. And then this long black skirt from Halara. I also like don't own a lot of professional wear anymore and it's not even like I owned a ton in college. So I'm just trying to like rack my brain as to what the hell I was wearing. Oh god, okay. But then also tank top. And where'd the other skirt go? Oh cotton skirt also with black jacket but also black cotton skirt with this new bodysuit that I got from Target with the black jacket so we are just a versatile queen over here also this just in case I'm feeling kind of feisty because this one does uh, show a lot but yeah it's just like a little pink crop top thing so it's supposed to be a little bit colder so maybe 
Maybe I'll feel a little feisty, but now I need day fits. Well then, also traveling clothes. So I'm like, hmm. Probably these brown yoga pants. My orange sweatshirt that I love wearing with like these all the time. All I do is fight with myself. All I do is fight with myself about what I should and shouldn't wear. So if I'm doing those fits, then I should do the black going out purse. Goodness, why is this so hard? It's not, I'm making it hard. I know I'm making it hard. I guess when we get there, we're gonna figure out whether or not I'll do tights or not, but these are the shoes I'm going to bring because I think it matches like the fit vibe. And then I'll probably just wear a pair of sneakers that I'll walk around with and stuff, so I'm not too worried about that. Cue the montage of me folding all this up, because I think... Yeah, next is makeup jewelry overnight bag, so... Summer breeze so full but if you think I'm going to take anything out you're so wrong uh, we're just going to try our best you try your best and you don't succeed you kind of got to sneak up on it see how I did that you kind of got to sneak up on her and this is what I'm gonna wear tomorrow which is why I didn't get packed okay makeup I need to do that Ugh. Unfortunately, my makeup is a lot harder to figure out than my jewelry, so reminder to take your meds. If you haven't taken them, take them now. So the way I always pack my makeup is I start like face makeup up and then I do eyes up. So I'm gonna, I'm just gonna bring you in so nice and close. God, my desk is such a mess. This is so embarrassing, but it's all like projects. They're just projects. Okay. Now for the main event. How washed out do I look? This is the skin of a killer, Bella. Okay. Anyway, um, that's the problem. This, not, not Twilight. Um, <laughs> figuring out what projects I want to do. I know for sure I want to bring this. It's going to be a little, like, cropped cardigan. So soft. I have this one skein. And then the second one here. I just like don't know what else to work on, which is so dumb because I feel like I should know. Everything is disappearing. No, oh, here it is. Okay, notion bag. Honestly, everything currently in there can stay in there. But so have my G and my stitch marker bag, little pouch. Um have my headphones. Let me go grab those. Throw these in here. My Kindle is charging, so that'll go in tomorrow when it's all ready. Oh, let me grab a library book. Love on the Brain by Allie Hazelwood. Yeah, uh, so I'm bringing both these just because I can't not, I guess. Um, yeah, what do you want from me? I'm just a girl. 
I am just a girl and I've been really bad about reading my own books. Uh, I've been checking out a lot of them from the library, <laughs> but I'm trying to read what I got from the library so that I don't, unless they're like the best book I've ever read in my entire life, I don't walk into a bookstore and I'm like, I'm going to buy this because I've been, <sighs> unfortunately I keep finding books that I've bought or like I keep reading books that I've bought and I don't like them. I just finished Brave New World by Al Aldous Huxley and oh my gosh, it was horrid. Granted, it came out in 1932, but still, like, why Why is every classic I read so racist and nasty and gross? But obviously, it's like, people can sit there and be like, it's a sign of the times, but like, I don't, I, I just, I, that doesn't mean I have to engage with it. I don't know, I just, it's like, I shouldn't be surprised, and I'm like, not, but at the same time, I am, which, I don't know, I know that's dumb, but it's just annoying to say the very least. Okay, this is a purse I've been using. I got it at a little shop in New Orleans called Gimme, and it's so cute. I love it so much. It's a backpack, what else I can carry it around like this, and it holds so much yarn. <laughs> when we're going, it's going to be local yarn store day, so I'm so excited I get to go to my favorite independent yarn store. It's called Prairie Road Yarn in Sioux Falls. If you are, you know, a crafty person and you find yourself in that neck of the woods, definitely go check it out. It is an awesome little shop. Jane, who owns it, is like the nicest, most knowledgeable knitter I've ever met. Oh, I'm so excited that I get to go support her on such a wonderful day. Uh, yeah, I think the plan is to maybe get some cotton blend, maybe like some Pima cotton, some like nice cotton and make another one of those like mesh crop top or not tops um cropped cardigans kind of like what i'm doing with this one over here but just something like just a little nicer i just need more projects i just don't know what i want to make why is this so hard i feel like i shouldn't be having such a hard time with this this happens every single time but also like i've finished so many whips recently like, I've been working on granny squares like crazy because I don't have that many whips going on right now. I mean, obviously there are things I could finish, but, like, I don't want to do those right now. And I also, like, I know I have a couple blankets that I've been working on. But, you know, like, sitting in a car, working on a blanket, and then, like, <clears throat> the little feety area is, like, kind of nast and, like, that's not to say my best friend's car is nasty, it's not, but like, you know, shoes and stuff go down there, not not your blankets you're working on. I hope you understand that. I'm just so like wildly uninspired, I don't... You know, I have had something on my mind for a while that I wanted to make. I wanted to make one of those off-the-shoulder tops. It's... oh. You know what's frustrating about that is it's not time for those yet. It's not the season for them anymore. See, what I normally like to do is I like to have like kind of mindless projects to work on when I'm, you know, on long car rides so I don't have to like think about it too much because if I think too much then my head starts to hurt and then, then nobody's having a good time. But uh, I need to figure this out and I will come back and reconvene with you when I do. The way I am just so straight up not having a good time or like I did not have a good time trying to figure this out, but I think I got it kind of under control. So let me show you what I'm going to be working on. So I got two skeins of this granny square all-in-one. This is soft white citrus twist. So I figured I could work on some granny squares. I'm going to be bringing two of these Karen coconut cakes. This is 100% cotton. I think I'm going to make another cardigan. It's just so hard. I have so much yarn. I would love to make things to sell and I am, but at the same time, like I... I'm not making any sales, so I don't want to keep making things for them to not sell because I there are no markets to do out here. There's no art scene. There's nothing in Rapid. There's just nothing. So, like, if I make stuff, there's no way for me to, like, move it through. And I try, but it's just difficult, and it's okay because we're moving. But eventually. Not soon enough, let me tell you. But... I think I might want to make a cardigan with these two. 
I know that I'm gonna be giving like great pumpkin vibes. This is pumpkin spice, Lion Brand Pound of Love, and then this is Big Twist Tweed in white tweed. It's like, I don't know. I guess I have some air in fleck that might be better. I guess I really don't think it matters, honestly. So I don't know, I'll make a cardigan or something with these. Not a granny stitch one, I'm thinking, hear me out. Maybe a panel cardigan, I don't know. It'd definitely be for fall. And then one knitting project, Sub Pop Tea, Prairie Road, or Tumbleweed, Sock Weight Yarn. So yeah, that's the projects. The hooks I'm bringing are my O-Fire 6.0, so that's what I'm going to make the cardigan with. My Clover Amore 5.0, because so that's what I'm going to use with the coconut ones. My Clover Amore uh, custom hook from Hooks and Glitter. It's a 5.5 that I'm going to use on the granny squares. And then my Prim G that I'll use for that cardigan, the mesh one the other mesh one. So yeah, that's the plan. I'm not bringing my laptop. I don't even think I'm going to bring my planner because I was just thinking like, it's the point of me bringing those things. I don't really, I don't need them for this trip, which is kind of odd because normally I'm like, oh, what if, what if? And I'm like, no, I don't need them. That's just like extra stuff to bring around. So yeah. Thank you so much for watching you guys. Sorry, I had a little bit of a hard time figuring out what I was going to make. I don't know why, I just feel so uninspired right now. Maybe it's just because like I want to work on these blankets and these granny squares, but I like not forcing myself to do other things, but like I don't want to bring a half finished project on a trip with me, you know? And I have other big projects that I'm working on, but you know, they also aren't super good or conducive to road tripping. So whatever. I'm really excited for everything that I am bringing and I think it'll be good. So yeah, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Let me know what you're doing for your next weekend trip and I will see you guys next time. Bye.